Hello everyone and welcome back to Conquest Conundrums, the series where I show you guys how to use different aspects of the Conquest Reforge mod. In today's episode, I'm going to be diving further into block gradients, specifically how these can be applied to real examples within builds. This will involve looking at walls, roofs, paths, and natural features. I would also like to link you all again to the guide on the official Conquest Reforge website put together by eGink. Their guide has yet again helped reinforce the terminology and methods I am to show today, and a link to the guide will be down below in the description. So, without further ado, let's get right into this episode. The first step is to identify your block palettes, something which was covered in a previous video. If you need a refresh or want to learn more, check that video out, it's linked below in the description. It's important that you identify a solid block palette in testing, making sure to use blocks which work well together in terms of colour, especially if you want to have a light to dark gradient. For this video, I aim to cover the four common examples of gradient usage, those being walls, paths, roofs, and natural features. An example palette for each using some of the different gradient methods will be used to show this. To begin with, we have perhaps the most common use of gradients, walls. I have applied the block palette for the wall to the wall layers as shown. This was done using two different methods. The first involved a drip gradient, one with a basic approach and another with a slightly more advanced drip using diagonal transitions. The second wall example involved using the clustering technique to achieve patches of lighter blocks contrasting into darker options. It's also worth mentioning that some blocks have CTM texture variation, so you can utilize this in your gradients. You may need to tweak with variations and blocks to achieve a gradient that suits the build. Another application of block gradients is with roofs. There are two common uses within this, mainly thatch and tile gradients. As you can see, I have made two example gradients to highlight these. Roof gradients are fairly unique, as they aren't always shaped the same as walls. Despite this, similar principles can still apply. Most roof gradients will rely on a drip gradient process, as you can see on the examples. It's important to consider the block palette here as well, especially with thatch. What is the context? For example, how old will the thatch roof be? Will it be shaded or exposed to sunlight? This may impact if you want to have mossy thatch involved in the palette, for example. Next up, we have a path and road gradient. Paths and roads often use noise gradients, as this can work best. Similar to roofs, it's also important that you test your gradient and block palette in relation to context, as shown in the two left examples. If the climate in which your building is dry, you may choose to opt for a more sandy gradient. In contrast to this, a more temperate climate might result in a more saturated and muddier gradient being used. To add to this, you may wish to add a transition palette and accompanied noise gradient to transition your paths and roads into the surrounding terrain. As shown to the far right, you can use detail blocks to add extra trodden dirt, or other details you may wish to add. Finally, we have natural gradients. The primary gradient method here would be by using noise, as randomised nature helps play into achieving a more natural and realistic look. Despite this, it's important that your palette works well in order to achieve the shapes, colours and patterns you want, while also looking good in a randomised nature. This is especially important for things like grass, which are obviously being used quite commonly. However, for things like forest palettes, you can tend to be a bit more lenient as these are likely to be covered by trees or foliage. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment down below. I also have a Discord server which you should totally join. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.